So in this video I'm going to teach you about twin servers. Uh, twin servers is essentially something that lets you simulate uh, some type of movement or some type of smoothing. So I'll give you an example. So you can see in the background I have this explosion right here. I'm using twin servers to increase the size and also to increase the transparency to make it disappear. And then you can also simulate movement if I'm moving this door right here. So you can see when I click on the door, I'm rotating the door so that it opens. Like so. Then you can also close it. So any type of smoothing usually, uh, that's what Teen Surface is for and just about any uh, anime game uh, uses this, any type of combat game or magic game, they'll always use Twin Service for their magic or whatever. So let's get started. So let's start with just the basics. So we're just going to insert a script into this part right here. I'm going to make a variable for the part and then make a variable for Twin Service. Whenever you're getting a surface, you use the get service function. And then we need to create a tween, so to do that we use, I'm going to make a variable called tween, and then we need to use the create function. Then we need to pass in three things, the part, uh, tween info, and a table for the goal. So for the part, I'm just going to put in part, and I'm going to make a separate variable for the info, uh, just for readability, you don't have to make a variable. And the only thing that's required is the how long it takes for this tween to complete, so I'm just going to put one second the parameter in there and then I'm going to make another variable for the goal this is going to be a table so how this works is uh, you need to specify what property you want to change so for example I could choose transparency or position or even the color and then you set a goal which is the value of that property so for example I'm going to put transparency and I want it to be one when I play the tween and then we'll put this table as well in the parameters I'll wait a second and then I'll play between. And now if we were to test this, you can see that it slowly turns into the one transparency. Now of course you can code the transparency part manually with a for loop and then just setting it to I. But using tween service is a bit more customizable as you can set the time as well as the easing style and how many times it plays a tween and etc. What's also really nice about tween service is that you can also set multiple uh, properties. So, so uh, we can do transparency and we can also do, uh, let's say we want to do color. Let's say we want to set this to like some type of color. Let's do pink. Put a comma here. And now we're to test it. You can see it turns visible as, and it also slowly changes the pink. So you can put as many properties here as you want. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and start coding this door. So I have this door right here, so that's a little part and our door knob. So we we want it to where when we uh, play between this door rotates by 90 degrees like that kind of. Naturally, you would think that we would have to create a tween for each part here, a tween for this door and a tween for this door knob. However, that's not a very smart way of doing it because let's say you have a door that's like 100 parts. You would need to create 100 tweens and then play all 100 tweens, which is going to be very performance heavy. So generally speaking, you want to try to limit to one tween. So in order to do that, we need to weld this. So this door right now, uh, make sure we need one to be anchored. So let's just make the door anchored and then we're going to do a weld. And it doesn't really matter what the part zero and part one is. I'm just going to set part zero to doorknob and then part one to the door. If you have more parts than I do, then you just do the same process. Uh, so you just create a well for each part in the model. So and if and to check if you did it right, uh, you can unanchor this and drag this up and then drop it. And if it's right, you can see it sticks to one piece. So because it's welded, it sticks to one piece like that. If it wasn't welded, so say I delete this weld, I play it, it you see a doorknob's gone because it fell out because it's not connected anymore by the weld. You can think of the weld as kind of like a glue. So I'm going to reinsert back the weld. So now one needs to be anchored, the primary part, in that way sticks together. Now I'll go ahead and create a script. 
We'll make some variables now. I'm using a click detector so we can click on the door. If you don't know what a click detector is, uh, you can watch my last video. I explain in detail on how to use it. Connect this to a function. And let's go make a variable uh, that uh, tells us if the door is currently open or not. So right now it's closed, so I set it to false. It's open, so set to false. If it's open, then else. Uh, so set that to false and then set this to true. So if it, if it is open then we want to close the door. Else uh, if it isn't open then we want to open the door. Now we need to make our tweens. So make a variable for tween service again. And now we need to make our tween. Use the create function. We need to pass in the part, so we can't pass in the model because the model uh, we can't uh, manipulate the orientation essentially. So we need to use a part. So we're, we're going to use a door because that's the thing that's the being welded to. So model door, and we pass in the info and the goal. So we do info. Let's just say one second, and then for the goal. So we need two goals, one for open and one for closing. So for the close, uh, so for close, it's already closed. We can set that to its default state. C frame. Uh, so if you don't know what C frame is, C frame is essentially the position and the orientation of the door. So it's two values in one kind of. And then we'll go ahead and make an open goal. C frame. And again, we want this door to be rotated 90 degrees when it is open. So I'm going to multiply that by 90 degrees. And then we will also need two tweens, one for open, one for close. So tween open. We'll use info and open goal, and then another tween for the close. Info, close goal. So make sure you use open goal for the open tween and close goal for the close tween. Now we just need to play it. So for closing a door, play the, the close tween, and then for opening door, play the open tween. And now we can test it. So you can see if I click it, it opens, and when I click it again, it closes. Pretty good. Uh, so you can see it looks kind of weird because it's rotating in the middle. So we can solve that by adding in another part. So instead, so instead of rotating this uh, by the door, we'll make another part. And we'll call this one the hinge. Delete the weld here. So instead of rotating the door, we're going to rotate by the hinge, and then we're going to weld these two parts to this hinge, and then you can just make the hinge invisible. So I'm gonna make two welds, because I have two parts. If you have more, then you'll make more welds. Set these. And it doesn't matter what the order of the parts your part one is, because we have one that's anchored, and anchored is at the higher priority. Just make sure the other not important parts are unanchored. And then instead of using the door, we're gonna use the hinge. You can see now, now that we're rotating the hinge, uh, it looks a lot better now. So that's how you code in a door, essentially. And then, last example, we're going to do this explosion now. Where I'm going to show you the code in the explosion. So I have uh, these parts right here that I got from the free models. Uh, and I just kind of, you know, it's just kind of like that. And all I'm doing is, uh, so again, tween service, model, and then, so I'm making a for loop that loops through each part, so it's running through each of these parts right here, running some type of code. That code being, I create a tween, 
I pass in the part. Let me organize this a little better. So for the info, it's going to be... Like so. And then for the goal... So it's the same code, I just kind of broke it up for you, just so it's a little bit easier to read. So for, twi for the tween info, I put 0 0.4 seconds, I changed the easing style, easing direction, uh, and I also made it repeat. So right now I put negative 1, if you put negative 1, it will repeat infinitely. If I only put 2, then it will only repeat 2 times. So 1, 2, okay, that's one more time, so 3. So, uh, so repeated uh, essentially two plus one times. So, but I just put negative one, and that will make it run infinitely. Uh, next up, uh, I just put this false. This checks if it's reverses after two in place. So if I were to put this to true, you can see it goes back, so it reverses. But I set that false, and then this is the delay for each time the tweens play. So it's a zero point eight seconds delay. If I were to put zero. You can see it, there's no delay on it after the tween finishes. Next up, I set the transparency to 1. So every single part here will try to get to the 1 transparency. And then I also increase the size by whatever its current size is times 3. And you can make I can make it bigger by just changing this number times 10. Like so. That's really customizable. And I just create a tween and then play it. So it's really the same logic. Um, the only thing new here is that I'm using a for loop, and again, all, all this for loop is doing is it's getting every single part of this model, and then looping through each part, and then it's just playing a tween for each part. That's all it is. And that's the end of the video, guys. If you like it, feel free to give it a like, subscribe, and join my Discord. Also, if you have any other tutorial suggestions, feel free to comment down below.